And uh, as far as the Darth Maul episodes, <laughs> you guys brought in uh, Peter Mayhew to talk to the animators and everyone about the character of Chewbacca and sort of discuss how he moves and reacts and everything. <laughs> Did you guys bring in uh, Ray Park for the animators like you did with Peter uh, to learn more about the character of Darth Maul? Well, I mean, you know, I've met Ray and I've, I've talked to Ray. In fact, I, I told Ray about this whole uh, Maul thing happening quite a while ago. And I, I got to give him a lot of credit because he certainly never never spilled the beans on it. So, uh, I mean, he's great. Um, I've been really fortunate to meet him several times. But our, our schedules didn't really line up in this situation because he's been very busy on the, the new G.I. Joe project. So it's been really hard for everybody to get the, the synchronicity of, of the timing of it. Um, you know, and so it didn't really interface. Luckily, we have a ton of uh, reference material from the films and footage that he filmed and behind the scenes, and we had all of that, uh, you know, to draw from for what we're doing with Maul. And some things that Maul's doing are... I don't want to say they're different, but they they have to be different by nature of you know the whole leg issue than perhaps some of the things that where where Ray was uh, fighting. So it's going to be uh, definitely one of the hardest things we've had to do on the show is uh, resurrect uh, Darth Maul. It's uh, you know we kind of took baby steps into this where we you know brought Boba Fett into the show. And we, you know, we were very careful about how we did that. Then we brought Chewbacca into the show. Um, you know, we were very careful about how we did that. So we were able to practice kind of getting these types of characters that people know right. And uh, to me, the exciting thing about bringing Darth Maul into the show at the end of the day is that now you don't know what happens to him. You don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> is he alive? Is he not alive? How is he alive? And what ultimately happens to this guy? Um, he is a classic character that once he's back, you know, returned from the dead or whatever is going on with him, um, you don't know what happens to him. And we've never had that situation before because you know Chewbacca at a certain point turns up in A New Hope and you know more of his story, but you don't know going forward what's going to happen to this rather iconic character. So um, that's an interesting twist and it's only something that George could make happen you know he's sitting in the writer's room saying we're going to do this and all of us saying mm, that's going to be a challenge because you cut him in half <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, that's the biggest thing for me is i can specifically remember being in the theater during phantom Menace and watching darth maul fall down that tube and watching him fall uh, split apart and i literally thought ha 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 <laughs> that's so no one can bring him back to life because Boba Fett's to come out of that Sarlacc pit a hundred different times, a hundred different ways. And I bet you George never intended that to happen. Because I used to think I remembered hearing interviews when I was younger, and George said, no, he, he, he's dead, but the fans keep bringing him back. And then remember the special edition, like the Sarlacc pit would come out and actually grab Boba Fett and gulp him down. It, it, it was like George was in a tug of war saying, no, he dies. No, he's alive. No, he dies. So finally, I, I think George, no, he's a, fine, he's alive. You can't stop the will of the people on that. And, but seriously, I thought with Maul, it's definitive. He got cut in half. Oh, yeah. And he's dead, right? And then here I am <laughs> all these years later, and I'm the guy, right? You're the guy that's resurrecting I, him. That's got to do this. And I'm like, oh, how do, you know, how do you draw these things? Hey, this is Dave Filoni of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you are listening to Rebel Force Radio. 